What's up you guys I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about the top 5 programming languages that you should learn in 2020 so let's get started so I know that many videos have been made on this topic and it's a popular topic and I'm aware of it. However, everyone must have their own personal take and I do have of my own. So in this video, I'm going to present my personal opinion on what are the top five programming languages that you should learn. I'm going to rank these languages based on the factors like ease of use and the amazing things that you can do with these languages and how fast you can learn these languages. So before we get into the video, I would like to share that I am a software engineer. I'm a full stack software engineer and uh, that is why I'm going to make a lot more videos on software engineering and computer science in general and that's where this channel is headed and I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of videos in 2020 and that's why you should definitely subscribe to my channel and I'm looking forward to share more content with you thank you all right so the number one programming language that you should learn in 2020 this is a very uh, difficult choice between two programming languages and I'm sure most of you are aware of those and let's have a healthy discussion in the comments down below whether you agree with me or you disagree with me but for me the number one language is definitely going to be JavaScript in case you have the time and the capacity to learn only one language among all these five languages I would definitely tell you that go home and learn JavaScript because JavaScript is a language which can be because JavaScript is a language which can be used across the stack you can make an entire product with just JavaScript you don't need any other languages you know for the front end for the back end a lot of stuff can be done in JavaScript all right so if you want to make web apps, you can use JavaScript libraries like React or Vue.js. If you want to build a performant, scalable backend, you can definitely make use of Node.js and Express. And apart from that, if you want to make mobile apps, you can make both iOS and Android apps using JavaScript using a framework like React Native. So you will have a single JavaScript code base from which you can make both iOS and Android apps at the same time, which is amazing, right? Almost every single website that you use on the internet makes use of JavaScript because it is the only language that is supported by all the browsers in this world. Uh, here's a fun fact, Jeff Atwood, the founder of Stack Overflow and Stack Exchange, and he's a great software engineer, he framed what is known as the Atwood's law, which says if anything can be written in JavaScript, it will eventually be written in JavaScript. He made this statement in the year 2007. However, it is more true now than it has ever been because as, you, as we've already seen a lot of different uh, forms of programming have been slowly moving towards JavaScript. For example, you can take the Android app development. Earlier, Android apps were developed in Java and iOS apps were used to be developed in Swift or Objective-C. However, today we are more and more moving towards cross-platform approaches so that we have a single code base and both Android and iOS apps come from the same code base and they are very similar in look and feel, right? So uh, JavaScript is being used to make these apps using React Native and also there are other frameworks like Flutter, which I would take up in another video. For now, you should know that JavaScript has infinite potential. In 2020, you're also going to see a lot of machine learning and neural networks action in JavaScript as well because uh, a lot of famous uh, machine learning libraries have been ported to JavaScript. TensorFlow.js, there's Brain.js for neural networks. So machine learning is coming up in JavaScript. So definitely, definitely look forward to it. And I mean, uh, JavaScript has great potential. So if there's one language that you can learn in 2020, make sure it is JavaScript. All right, moving on to the language number two. It is obvious it is Python programming language. Python is a great programming language. It is highly versatile, just like JavaScript, and it is very easy to pick up. So I would suggest if this is the first language that you're going to learn, Python is a great place to start because it is very easy and simple to use, mostly because its syntax is, you know, pretty simple. It is almost like speaking in English. You can do a lot of things in Python and its popularity is all the way up there in 2019 and it will definitely continue to be there in 2020. So Python is great. It has some amazing frameworks like Django and Flask. I will definitely make more videos on these. However, for now, understand that there's a lot you can do with Python, especially in the backend side of things. You can also make a lot of front-end work, uh, but it's not preferred. JavaScript does really well in the front-end. JavaScript really beats everyone out of the competition. So Python is usually used on the backend side of things where you, where you perform a lot of processing. Then uh, obviously there's machine learning and data stuff. Python is amazing for that. And you can also do a lot of general purpose programming and scripting and automation in Python. So overall, Python is a great programming language and a great choice for you to learn in 2020. 
Moving on, the third programming language that I would like to mention here is Java, because obviously Java is an evergreen language and it is a strong core language for you to have in your uh, portfolio. If you really learn Java, it shows that you can learn any language. Because Java, I wouldn't say it's very easy to learn. It definitely takes time to get used to because there's so much syntax happening there. I don't mean to get you scared or anything, but Java is. slightly harder than say python or javascript to pick up however if you learn java you will become a better programmer because you will learn many things about programming in general and especially about object oriented programming so java is a great place to start for a lot of people if you want to come in this for the long run and you want to be able to learn any language easily java is the way to go because if you learn java you can easily pick up any other programming language in a short period of time okay next up number 4 is definitely c++ C++ is a very high performance language because it's a low level language right so it comes directly from C and basically uh, C++ is used to write lot of low level system level code in any case if you need extremely high performance you are probably going to go with C++ a lot of game development takes place in C++ almost all the big games that you play on your console or on your PC are definitely made in C++ just because they require very high performance right So that's why C++ is preferred for game development. So if you're into game development, definitely learn C++. It's going to help you a lot in your career. Finally, the number five language that I'm going to tell you today is Go Lang or Go, which is a programming language made by Google, and it is definitely rising in popularity. It is highly performant and highly scalable, and also it is used mainly to build a huge, large-scale distributed systems. A lot of high-performance servers, such as a Bitcoin exchange. or you know docker is written in golang a lot of companies make use of golang to increase their throughput and the raw performance of their servers because it is really fast and it can handle a lot of requests so for highly scalable systems such as uber uber really makes use of golang and if i'm not wrong netflix also uses a lot of golang in their backend so anywhere where there's a high volume of requests and you know it has to give very high performance golang is a great language for that apart from being very high performant it is also relatively easier to start with that is the reason why it's really growing in popularity so golang is definitely a hit if you want to check it out All right so these are the five languages that I would suggest you learn in 2020 and also subscribe to my channel because I'm going to post a lot more content and a lot more things that you can learn a lot more tutorials and easy ways to learn these languages I'm going to share a lot many resources with you so definitely subscribe to my channel for those and if you like this video hit that like button and please share it with your friends it definitely helps and comment down below if you have any more questions or you have any other languages that you think i should consider so that's it for this video thanks for watching